Only you have been fasting. If you have been in the fasting with us, lift up your voice and celebrate God. Blessed be your holy name. The never failing God, I thank you. The unchangeable God, I thank you. The dependable God, I thank you. Blessed be your holy name. I give you all the praise and all the glory. Thank you, King of Kings. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Fasting increases hopes. And much more importantly, it makes hope alive. If truly you have been in this fast, your hope will have come to life. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. To prove that your hope is alive, when the song was going on, you should be dancing. But some people just sound, what is she even singing? Said? <laughs> I knew that the person is not in the fast. There are many. It's not one. They are not in the fast. They are here for Wednesday service. You know I'm your father. I can talk to you like your father. I'm not afraid of your face. Hear me? You need this fasting to fast forward your life. Yeah. Fasting, fast forward destiny. No wonder anytime you want to do the fast, your stomach will come with a rumbling sound. You never eat today. Oh. <laughs> Eight o'clock. Oh. But please, we have, we are just on the third day. We have four more days to go. You will finish well. I say again, you will finish well. I say again, you will finish well. The devil will not deny you of what God has said to release for you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. In this service, something will break forth in your life. Put those hands together for the Lord and please be seated. Still in our series, engaging the unlimited power of faith. Whatever has confronted you in life and in destiny needs a confrontation with faith. Whether it's financial, marital, career-wise, any aspect of life where you have been challenged, resisted, confronted, what the thing is calling for is for your faith to arise against it. And I want to let you know that faith has unlimited power to make us see the things God has appointed for us. To deliver into our hand the heritage of our destiny. But hear this. Faith never delivers until you commit yourself to it. Faith never delivers until you press. To take the substance. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Whatever you are hoping for, there is a substance that will guarantee the delivery. So you must go get the substance before it must answer. So we're going to be looking again into some major aspects of what faith is all about. Number one, faith is a display of confidence in God until the desired result is obtained. It's a display of confidence. You don't fake confidence. It will show. Confidence is rooted inside out. The psalmist said, My soul, wait thou only upon the Lord, for my expectation is of him. 
God told Papa, don't claim to be trusting me when your eyes is on something else. He said, make one of your eyes to look up and the other one to look down. He said, anytime you are trusting man, don't claim that you are putting your trust in me. Many can claim to be trusting God, but their heart is still a man. If God fail, see what he has to do. <laughs> if you know answer before this July end, eh, see how go go. You have already failed. The psalmist said, the sorrow of them shall multiply. That put their trust in other gods. So anytime you are trusting man, you are multiplying your pains. You are increasing your channels of sorrow. The sorrow of them shall multiply that put their trust in other gods. So every day you need to be batting confidence. Even if God chooses not to appear, I will not change my mind. When God sees your confidence, he stretches out his hand. Jehoshaphat said, Oh Lord, our eyes are upon you. These five great nations have risen up against us, but our eyes are upon you. And God replied, You shall not need to fight in this battle. I, the Lord, shall fight for you. Where is your heart? Because where your heart is, that's where your confidence is. I want to say this to you. I will say it a million times. Start trusting God. Man is like a wind. He can change before a second. Cause is the man that put his trust in man. And make it the flesh is trust. He says he shall not see good when he cometh. He says he shall inhabit the parched places of the earth. But blessed is a man that trusted in the Lord. He shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Blessed is a man. So people that trust God, they flourish in life. They flourish. They flourish. In their career, in their family, God never allows one that has put his trust in him to end up in shame. You can't end up in shame, never, even when they are cooking shame for you. <laughs> oh, I like the way I like the way Bishop Abiyah puts it. He says, A minute to your shame, God will appear. <laughs> I say, A minute to your shame, God will appear. He said, God is our refuge. A very present help in time of trouble. I'm still learning to trust him. I'm still growing in trust. I've not I've grown trust. Because the arm of flesh can fail any minute. I'm still growing in trust in him. You can never outgrow trusting God. The day you outgrow trusting God, you start trusting things. Concerning Abraham in Romans chapter 4 and verse 29, 21, I'm sorry, 19 and verse 20, 19, verse 19 to 20, okay, no, 19 to 20. 19 to 20. And be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead. When he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness. You know, dead gets great. From dead to deadness. Are you seeing it? That his own is dead, Sarah's own is deadness. Who read English here? <laughs> Dead, deadness, deadest. <laughs> Are you seeing something there? 
he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old neither yet the deadness oh my god of Sarah's womb deadness which means useless he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to God I like to let you know thanking God for what you have not seen is the highest expression of faith thanking God for what you have not seen is the highest expression of faith for we walk not by sight but what by faith it is not yet in your hand but you are trusting in the infallibility of God's word that that which he has said will surely come to pass so you are thanking him the more Lord I thank you because Isaac must appear I thank you because Esther must appear I thank you because Sarah must appear I thank you because Abraham must appear I thank you because my marriage must be settled Oh my God, God will show up for you. He considered not. Meaning, don't look at what is happening around you. Look at what is written concerning you. If you look more at what is happening around you, I want to let you know your heart will fail you. Your heart will fail you. And before you know what's happening, you begin to question, God, are you sure you are still there? Are you sure you are still there? Or I should try somebody else? Are you sure you are still there? I should look for what to do? So you keep expressing your confidence in God. The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From where comes my head? My head cometh from God. The maker of the heavens and the earth. The maker of the heavens and the earth. So you keep displaying it. Now to display something is to show it. If you are trusting God, let people know. It's not that you are trusting God and you are afraid so that they will know. So okay, what, what you are talking about? Where, where is the testimony? Hear me? Give men opportunity to mock you so that God can make you. It is natural for men to mock. Very natural. So don't be troubled about the mockery of men. It is part of the arrangement for you to enter the blessing. It's part of the arrangement. More men of necessity will mock you. In fact, they will mock you to their fullest. But they don't know that as they are mocking you, they are catalyzing your blessing. They are fooling, they are triggering your blessing. Allow men to mock you. Don't be ashamed of what you have believed. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God. I have seen it in this my small life. No one that has ever mocked me is ahead of me. All of them, they are on my back. Backbiting. Doing the business of backbiting. While I do the business of front going. So while you are doing the backbiting, I am front going. Allow men to mock you. Display your faith. Don't tell me when Abraham was saying that Isaac is on the way that people didn't mock him. Even Joshua said, are you holding on to your trust in this, your God? Why don't you curse God and die? He said, why are you talking like a foolish woman? His wife, Job's wife. Display your faith. Let men hear. Look, let God know. Let man know. If you are trusting God, trust him full scale. Not only when you come to church. You know, many are Christians when they are in church. But when they are outside, they are their real self. Let man know. Let God know. Abraham believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. 
Meaning he was not ashamed of who he has believed. He was not ashamed. So everywhere he went to, he was telling them, have you heard? Isaac is coming. Your faith must drive you to a crazy point. Is this man normal? Is this woman normal? Yes. Faith is not for normal people. You are too normal for the kind of testimony you are looking for. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Do you know why I say you are too normal? You are afraid of talking about what you believe. Display it. If you believe it, display it. Anything you are afraid to say, God will be too small to perform. You are afraid to say it, God cannot do it. I don't want to say it so that they will not mock me. That's when God wants to hear it. Number two, faith is an asset of inestimable value. It is worth anything that one can ever desire in life. What do you desire in life? I'm giving you an assignment today. What do you desire in life? When you go write it, faith say anything you can desire. I am equal to the tax. Anything you can think of having as a person, as a family, as an individual, he say, I am much more than that. I can put it in your hand. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Whatever is not impossible for God, can never be impossible for faith. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that you have it, and you shall have whatsoever you say. That word whatsoever is an unending list. That list cannot finish. What things soever you desire. Whatever is the value of what you desire. Faith say I can bring it. Faith say I can create it. Faith says I can make it happen. Blessed is she that believeth. For there shall be a performance. So faith is designed for performing. Faith is designed for creating. Anything you desire, faith say, I will get it all. It is not too big for me to deliver. Who has believed our reports? Hear me? Today is Wednesday. Before Friday, somebody will get a testimony from this. Faith say, I can deliver it. Meaning the value of your faith is bigger than the value of anything you desire. The value of your faith. No wonder Satan's principal target is on your faith. Jesus said, Simon, Satan has desired to see few like wheat. But I have prayed for you that thy faith faileth not. He knows the value of what faith can do. Satan has desired to see few like wheat. But I have prayed that thy faith faileth not. Because if your faith is intact, not everything will be intact. If your faith is intact, nothing will miss. If your faith is intact, you will recover anything you want. I have prayed for you that thy faith faileth not. So the target of the enemy 
is the value of our faith. No wonder it fires you depression. It gives you worry. Today you are trusting, tomorrow you are doubting. He looks at you. See you. You were better than this before. Since you say you are following God, see how you don't come. See, see yourself. See what you are doing to yourself. <laughs> Paul said, it doesn't seem what we should be. But when, we, when he shall appear. <laughs> I want to let you know, what is ahead of you is better than what you are seeing now. I'm telling you the truth. It's better than what you are seeing now. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. I remember one concerned friend of my father there, and he's late now. He looked at me. He said, come, come, come. You mean with all this brain God has given to you, you say it's pastor you want to do? Oh, they have brainwashed you. Why? He asked me, who do you this kind thing? And I replied him, I say, thank you very much. It's a good brainwashing. My life is better than when I started. And I make a vow to let you know, none of your children or any person you think of will be better than me in this community. I'm getting there. I said, I'm getting there. Whether you like it or not, I'm better than all of them. I say it's a good brainwashing. It's a good brainwashing. Because they see you trusting God as a demotion. God forbid about it. Trusting God is an elevation. When you trust him, he will trust you. Do you know what it means to trust? To trust is to push you ahead. To trust is to move you forward. So, your past life can never be better than your future life. Your future life will be more glorious. No one that scripture says that part of the just is as a shining light that shineth brighter and brighter unto to a perfect day. So faith increases the value. No wonder Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. So faith increases our value. Faith brings us to the realm of possibilities with God. Because whatever is possible with God is possible for us. It brings us to the realm of unlimited possibilities. Forget about your challenges now because I know that's where your eye is going. If you can walk on your faith, that problem will melt. If you can walk on your faith, that challenge will collapse. I'm telling you. But the problem is our eyes are more on the problem and less on our faith. Increase your faith capacity and melt the challenge. But rather, you are increasing the strength of the problem by feeling depressed, feeling sorrowful, thereby weakening your faith. Whatever is possible with God is possible with faith. God can do it. And God will do it. I say God can do it. And God will do it. He said, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Mention it. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I remember one of our members in uh, Riffy Church. She took him without menses. You must see menses before ovulation go to play. Am I, am I correct? 
she took it. You know, no mess is no nothing. After 21 day fast, no mess, no nothing. Where did it come from? God knows how to corner your enemies. No matter how smart your enemy is, they are still limited in their sense. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Just like the one that happened yesterday. Why are you looking at me? Did I call anybody's name? Did I call anybody's name? You know, when God created man, he didn't deposit all the sense in one person's head. So if you think so, you get sense. You get person, you get sense, you pass your sense. <laughs> Are you understanding what I'm saying? <laughs> Praise God. Nothing shall be impossible for you. Now let me tell you this. Wherever you want to reach in this life, you will get there. Whatever you want to have in this life, you will have it. If you are saying amen, say it with all confidence. Don't live in self-pity and end up in the pit. Self-pity takes you to the pit. No, you are going somewhere. You have already started. You are already in the process. You are not where you used to be. Your enemy will not meet you the same way he met you before the end of this year. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Scripture said again, he opened his hand wide and satisfied the desire of every living thing. Should I tell you something? You are more than a living thing. I said you are more than a living thing. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest. And cause it to approach unto his throne. It's not everybody that can approach unto his throne. And yet he said he opened his hand wide. Wide. And satisfied. The desire of every living thing. Please. Write it in your head. I am more than a living thing. If he opened his hand wide. And satisfied the desire of every living thing. You are more than a living thing. You are created in the image and the likeness of God. So if anybody should see anything good, it should start with you. I say it should start with you. He that is born of the flesh is flesh. He that is born of the spirit is what? Spirit. You favor your own before an outsider. They say charity begins at home. Where does charity begin? So, if anything good should happen to anybody, God should start with you. I say, should start with you. But you must keep trusting your God. You must keep believing in your God. There is nothing you desire that you have seen in anybody's hand or in anybody's house or in anybody's car, anybody's office. That God cannot put in your hand. No wonder when Papa visited or a robot, God told him, right there, it can happen anywhere. Has it happened now? Has it happened now? It should either be 2007 or 2008. Or a robot university sent a batch of their students to come and see the wonders in Canaan land. And they were, how come in less than so, so, so yeah, this thing is here. Papa is telling them, it's the hand of God. And he reminded them when he also visited our robot university and God told him, it can happen anywhere. Now, Covenant University is just one. Landmark is there. Very soon, Orient University, King's University, Crown University. We'll just... That's how the team will just be coming out. It will just be coming out like primary school. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It can happen anywhere. So, there is nothing to envy anybody for. I said there is nothing to envy anybody for. Whatever God has done in one, it can do in your life. 
So just trust your God. It's also possible for you. I say it's possible for you. I say it's possible for you. I say it's possible for you. The only thing you just need to do is to keep working on your faith. Because your faith defines your time. Your faith defines your time. Scripture say now faith is. So if you, if you fail in building up your faith, you are delaying the manifestation of that testimony. Now faith is. No wonder. All of us that you see here now, we are in different realms and in different scales in life. So as your faith is going up, your blessings are manifesting. Faith also is that force that invades the invisible world and delivers its mission with precision. It invades, it rules in the invisible world and delivers its mission with precision. No wonder God told Papa in this fasting that we are doing, the mystery of faith can deliver it. <laughs> Someone can be making a mockery of our prayer. Yes, there are people already making a mockery of the prayer. But I want to let you know, faith will show them mystery. I say faith will show them mystery. The wind blow it where it listed. You don't know where it's coming from, neither where it's going to. God said, I will do the very thing that I hear you say. We rule in this life by faith. So everything we are declaring, it is written. When you go back, read Psalm 83, you will see some of the content of our prayer. All the plan that they have made to cage this nation, frustrate Christianity, faith will puncture their plans. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say it better amen. Yeah. No wonder Ephesians 6 verse 16, he said, above all, taking the shield of faith, whereby we shall be able to quench all the fiery that. Meaning every strategy they have laid, faith say, I will puncture them one by one. Yeah. And already their plans are being punctured one by one. Yeah. Taking the shield of faith. Faith is an invisible mystery that permeates the invisible world and delivers its mission. He that is born of the flesh is flesh. He that is born of the spirit is spirit. The wind blow it where it listed. You don't know where it's coming from, neither where it's going to. The only thing you are going to see is the effect. No wonder faith is a mystery. As you are declaring, people will be wondering, see them, they don't they make mouths. They don't they make mouths. Wait, just wait. We will know whether we are making noise or whether we are making news. Just wait. Faith has been delivering, it will still deliver. God said, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish and prosper in the thing wheresoever I send it. Wheresoever. Wheresoever. So whatever we are declaring, those are the things God will be performing. Because he said, I will do the very thing that I hear you say. You can't operate in the invisible without the dominion power of faith. Jesus said, these words that I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are life. What we do in prayer by declaration, we are prophesying what shall be. Oh Lord, scatter the plan of the Fulani jihadists. Disappoint their cancer. Let every one of them and their sponsors come under divine vengeance this week. What the scripture say? 
that we shall execute the judgment that is written. I don't know where you get your own Bible from. You may claim or think we are making noise. Wait, we will know very soon. I said we will know very soon. So every time we are engaged in faith, we are sure it is bound to deliver. Now with respect to your issue, you know, you complain more about your issue, what is not working, who has refused to help you, how you have been disappointed, is enough. I say it's enough. Start declaring what you want to see. What you don't want, you don't watch. Whatever you don't confront is permitted to remain in your front. But if you know what you want, declare it. Declare it. And faith say, I will deliver it. Who collect those things that be not? As though they are. For by faith, we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. So that things that are seen are made out of things which do not appear. So every time you are declaring, you are calling it from the realm of the spirit. And they are coming into manifestation in the physical. So if you believe this word, you will not stop declaring You just pray right now. Oh Lord, plead my cause. Plead my cause, oh Lord. Fight against them that fight against me. Rise up for me. Why are you saying plead my cause? Why are you saying plead my cause? Fight against them that fight against Hear me? Somebody can be telling you, bless you, sir. Is among the people fighting you. Don't confuse me with bless you. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Not everybody that came to church came to seek God. Some came on satanic assignment. And that's why when others are collect, collecting blessings, they will be collecting causes. Yes? You don't know that the causes that is living here, some people are collecting it. Every service, some people are collecting it. When we say you shall be blessed, some people are catching the blessing. Anyone troubling your, your life, let them just strike them. Some people must collect it. Oh, you think I'm joking? That's how it has been ordained in the spirit. So I'm not bothered looking for who is troubling me. When I start to prophesy, you will collect something. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Your enemies, they are in trouble. Yeah. I said they are in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so when faith is at work, you don't melt over problem. Faith is working out something. Faith is opening doors. Faith is breaking barriers. Faith is delivering blessings. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. And lastly, faith is the master key to the world of unlimited possibilities. I've said that before. There is nothing you desire. Nothing you desire. Scripture says, the Lord God is my son and shade. He will give grace, he will give glory. He said he will not withhold anything good. From them that walk uprightly. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing will be withheld. Nothing will be withheld. I say nothing will be withheld. I say again nothing will be withheld. Anything you desire faith can deliver. No door can be shut against faith. That door will scatter. It's not my word like hammer. And like fire that break it in pieces. So every time faith goes, doors open. Do you know what? Wherever faith goes, God goes. 
Everywhere the word is released. In any direction the word is sent to God appears there. And wherever God appears, Satan must disappear. Scripture says, What led thee, O thou see that thou fled it? Thou Jordan, that thou was driven back. That thou was driven back. So every time we are declaring, we are saturating the atmosphere for the fullness of the presence of God. And for with God, nothing shall be impossible. For with God, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. For with God. Link this scripture to John chapter 1. Let's see something there now. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Genesis, um, John chapter 1. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word. And the word. And the word. The same was in the beginning with God. Verse 3. All things. How many things? How many things? We are made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. How many things? How many things? What do you want God to do for you? The world can make it. Verse 4. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. Verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Pause. And the light. So every time we are speaking the word. Wherever they have organized manipulation. Against you, against this church, against Nigeria. The word is scattering their plans. You better say a good amen. For by him all things were made. All things, not some things. I, I bet you, whatever made life difficult for you, that same thing will be ushering you into testimonies. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. If nothing is impossible with the world, then nothing is permitted to be impossible for you. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. What is it that makes faith unique? Number one, faith has power to turn our situations into testimonies. So whatever you are confronted with now, a testimony is to come out from that area. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. That thing that is giving you heartache and pain, a testimony is ordained to come out from it. I say a testimony will come out from it. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. There is no impossible situation that faith cannot crush. Don't say, I am tired. Don't say, I have tried. You never try anything. You are trying by your flesh. Engage faith now. Shouldn't you say, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit. When faith is at work also, it turns you into a living wonder. Into a living wonder. Into a living wonder. I and the children God has given to me, they are for signs and for wonders. So as we are engaging faith, we are entering the realm of wonders. You saw wonders last month, you are bound to see wonders this month. Before this week will be over, you will see another wonders. If you are saying amen, say better amen. So faith guarantees a wonderful life. Faith guarantees a wonderful life. A wonderful life. So you define the kind of wonders you want to see. Faith guarantees a wonderful life. You want to see wonders in any area of your life? Locate the word in that area and begin to speak it. Begin to declare it. As you are declaring it, you are calling forth the wonders that shall be. 
you are calling forth the wonders that must manifest. And truly, they must manifest. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Lastly, faith unleashes its power through our tongue. Mark 11 and verse 23. Don't forget, I told us before, faith comes by hearing and it works by speaking. And Jesus said in Luke 21, 15, I give you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversary will not be able to resist nor gainsay. Now look at, look at that scripture, Mark 11, verse 23. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. How many things? He shall have whatsoever. What is the meaning of whatsoever? Whatsoever is whatsoever. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Huh? Shall have whatsoever he says. So to prove it, you keep declaring it. He shall have whatsoever he says. Anything you want to see, say it. What you don't say, you can never see. Anything you want to see, say it. As you are saying it, the angels are going to bring it. Scripture says the angels of the Lord, they excel in strength and they bring to binding the word of the Lord. Over your life, over your family, over your children. Whether they are around you or they are not around you. Call out their picture. Whatever you say, that's what you will see in their life. With your faith, you can't watch your children destroyed by the devil. You use your faith to regulate them the way you want them to be. Or you don't know. They came from your loins. So you exercise both physical and spiritual control over them. No devil can collect your child. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Huh? They cannot go the way the devil wants them to go. They will go the way you want them to go. I'm telling you. I learned something from Dr. Paul in nature recently. He said what made Israel Israel today is because they have been working on one principle of life. Every day they bless their children. Every day. Whether they are born again, now under your business. Every day, they bless their children. It shall be well with you. The seed of the righteous shall be mighty. You shall be mighty. They may not look like it. But the prophetic word has been fired into their life. Watch out. You will see them come out like that. It's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. Faith gives expression in your mouth. You can use your mouth and disfigure your life as gossipers are already doing. Any gossiper will think now that uh, he's being celebrated. Now you they get the latest gist. Oh. You they get the latest gist. Oh. You are dying silently. Your mouth is given to shape your life. Not to disfigure your life. They may be clapping hand for you. What's the latest this week? You are the CNN of LFC Lafia. There's no problem with that. Who suffers it is you, nobody. You suffer it more than any other person. But people that are wise, scripture says even a, a fool, when he keeps quiet, is counted as a wise man. A fool. Even when he keeps quiet, it's counted as a wise man. When will your mouth be shut to bad things and be open to good things? When will your mouth be open to good things? What you don't want, don't say. Whatever you don't want to see, don't say it. But whatever you want to see in your life, keep saying it. Hidden in the tongue is the power of life and death. It's a them that love it. So anything you are saying now, you love it. You love it. It's a them that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Meaning, 
there is a connection between our fulfillment and our mouth. If life will be better for you, if that shop will grow, if that business will flourish, it's in your mouth. It's your mouth you use in calling the success. It's your mouth you use in opening the door. Your life is not going the way your enemy wants it. Your life is going the way your mouth is saying it. Rise up to your feet. When God says, rule thou in the midst of thy enemies, it's your mouth. Because you have a spiritual advantage. And that spiritual advantage is rooted in Christ. If a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. And all things have become what? New. Now, what do you want to see change in your life? Your mouth cannot initiate it. Your mouth can organize it. Your mouth is, is, is your spiritual programmer. It programs you for blessing. You can use your mouth and program yourself for success. You can use your mouth and program an open door. You can use your mouth and program words. Anything you call, the spirit answers. What is it now that is making you feel depressed? feel bitter, feel sorrowful, you can use your mouth and put to an end to it. What in so ever you desire when you pray. I want you to lift up your voice in two minutes. You are going to pray. Enough of suffering. Enough of disappointments. Enough of begging. I have carried enough hardship. It is, my, it is time for my life to be sweet. In the name of Jesus Christ. He says, satisfy the desire of the righteous. Lord, I decree, let the challenges begin to melt. Let the oppositions begin to crumble. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the walls of limitation begin to scatter. Any force that is dragging me backward, by your fire, I end them today. Lift up your voice and begin to declare. Rico preketus atolares. Lerindo preketus ikatara. Yendi halo sheketeri kata le da 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 yamaro shakatara le breketori ala le zindo brekete. I will flourish like the palm tree. I will grow like the cedar of Lebanon. In the name of Jesus, the lines will fall for me in pleasant places. La kobre ketoli andege redo shakata. Every arrow of shame and reproach designed and programmed against me. I decree let their plans fail. Let their invocation fail. Let their sorcery fail. In the name of Jesus. Leudu e preketoli agada. Zesonakete. Le rio ke to prekliku tunalia. In Jesus name we pray. I won't forget that wise saying of Bishop Abiyo. Anytime you speak, your enemies, they become weak. Their challenges, they become weak. If you don't speak, they will not be weak. They will not be demobilized. They will not be neutralized. But as you are speaking, you are weakening them. You are breaking their bands. You are destroying their hold. What do you want this communion to do for you? He said, is this not the communion? Which is, is this not the cup of blessing which the Lord has blessed? So there is a blessing for you in this communion. Is it favor you want to collect? You will collect favor. Is it open door you want to collect? You will collect open door. Is it turn around you want to collect? You will collect turn around. 
any evil decision that has been programmed against you by this communion it shall be altered if you are saying amen say better amen whatever is that invisible power invisible voice fighting you by this communion i decree vengeance against them if you are saying amen say better amen any altar that has been hired to fight you i decree by the blood of sprinkling and by the communion let their altars scatter in the name of jesus as you go home with this blood of sprinkling today whatever represents an evil programming an agenda of wickedness against the church an agenda of wickedness against living faith church an agenda of wickedness against your life in Nazarawa state let their plans backfire let their plans backfire let their plans backfire any group of cabal that upset themselves that they will cage Nasarawa states God of Oyedeko kill them kill them kill them as the blood of sprinkling touch the earth again let the earth open up its mouth and swallow them they will never live to see that plan fulfilled if you are saying the message better amen any man or woman walking tirelessly to see how I will go down to see how you will go down to see how the church will go down as this blood touch the earth vengeance of God smite them dead smite them dead smite them dead smite them dead whatever they are programmed against Nigeria Anywhere they are camping evil men to fight these states. In Wamba, in Rukubi, in Awe, killer angels invade that camp. As we bleed the blood again tonight, invade their camp. Invade their camp. Let their camp be desolate. Say amen like a believer whatever represents an arrow of witchcraft arrow of occultic men and occultic women fired against your life by the blood of sprinkling and the blood of drinking whatever god has not planted i decree today let them be flushed out let them be flushed out every favor that is due to you that you have not collected this month of july by this communion I decree let your portion answer let your family portion be delivered whoever is connected to the blessing you desire whoever is connected to the blessing you are expecting as you partake of this communion and blood of sprinkling let them not rest until that blessing enter your heart say amen like a believer say amen like a believer so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. I say, if you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. That blessing, you will see it come to pass in your life. Amen. You will see it come to pass in your family. Amen. You will see it come to pass in your children. Amen. You will see it come to pass in your household. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you. Confirm your word again. In Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah.